Now is muscle rather than green fingers. And if anyone could get us an army of manpower, it's got to be Attica. One of the guys at the farm was saying that there's actually a territorial army base very near to Norton, which is where our home is. So we thought we might just pop in. Hi guys. Who are you? Please meet yes. My name's uh, Ed Copper. I'm the OC of 106 uh, Field Squadron here. Okay. Well, you look perfect for my job. We're looking for some really strong guys because we've got about three tons of shingle of pebbles right. to, okay. to shift. Would you be yeah. able to do that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no really? Problem. Brilliant. Yeah. You're, you're, these are the guys who, wherever they are, they can just put up a bridge overnight. In fact, why aren't you doing our whole project? That was so great. They are brilliant, the TA. And if they're on board, I, I feel very confident about this project now. The boys from the TA are all done. Bit of rain ain't gonna put them on. The first thing that, that I'd like to get you to do would be to top dress all of these paths as we go through. The path winds its way around the garden for 240 metres, and all of it needs a gravel base layer. All 48 tonnes of the stuff. Take off to the TA. I I don't know what we'd have done without my beefy soldiers. They're laying gravel, they're shifting branches and cementing walls. I think I love them. Lovely to see you. Oh, thank you so much. I hear, every, I hear everyone's been a complete star. The TA guys, the nice some good guys. You've got to be paying to say that on this. It's good to do something for the community to like. Some of the residents, no doubt. Perhaps got no one at all apart from the staff and the people and and uh, just maybe if you see just one of the residents with a smile on the face, it really sort of, I don't know, form a bigger tear to your eye, sort of thing, if you look at that sort of way. And it'll bring a tear to my eye if you don't finish it. We're nearly halfway through and we've still got to turn this sodden Sheffield soil into a sunny seaside garden. So this is going to be um, like a beach hut for our seaside area, which will be fun. Did you ever go to the seaside with your granddad? Yeah, I used to take me all the time. Where, where'd you go? Three dots. And then um, we used to have fish and chips before we came home. Oh, I'm just so hoping, Genevieve, that this seaside area it works as a, yeah. as a trigger. Do you think your granddad will yeah, enjoy it? Yeah, I think it'll bring back memories of like as a, me, my grandma and my granddad going to the beach when I was little. And I think, you know, if you like taking pictures of us at the beach, his face, so he sort of smiles as much as he can and kind of looks at you as if to say, yeah, I, I remember being there. Yeah. I remember us being there together. And, it kind of eats you up because you know that you'll never get them time again. But mm. if this works and this gives the same joy, then all for it, do it to me. I can't believe how strong Genevieve has been. Dementia can have such devastating effects on families, and it seems to affect so many of us now. Well, my father-in-law had Alzheimer's, and yeah. um, you know, he he loved the music. He loved. Yeah. He loved being in outdoors in the in garden, and he loved uh, having kids around him. You know, it just it, he just lit up. Everyone has a memory of a garden. Yeah. Everyone's been in a field. Everyone's yeah. picked yeah. a buttercup. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's smiling with a lavender. Whatever it is, it's that kind And with dementia, you just suddenly see in people's faces, you just get this flicker of recognition. And if we pull this off, that's exactly what this garden will bring. A new day and another new challenge. It's day five and Joe's gazebo has arrived. Perfect shelter from the rain. And shade from the sun if it ever shines again. I think that Keith will love it. Only takes a few hours to put up. It's now more than halfway through and we still haven't got all that gravel laid. Luckily, friends and family are here to muck in and get the base there spread over those paths. Well, you can see the people that have come that have turned up. Everybody wants to be a part of this because it's so worthwhile what we're doing. Dawn, whose 70 year old husband Frank has been at the home for three years, isn't holding back either. I'm doing this for my friend to give him somewhere where he can go and he can be outside and he can be free and walk about. And I haven't got to worry about him getting knocked down or getting hurt, and he'll love it. Being outside, it'll be fantastic, brilliant. For Dawn, this project is more than just a garden. It's a way for her to reconnect with her husband of 37 years, and I'm keen to meet him. Where are we heading? <laughs> On this setting, I'm going there. Yeah. Um, yeah.
How do you feel when you're with Frank, knowing that he might recognise you or just might have a feeling or there might be no response at all? How does that affect you? It upsets, it upsets me a lot. Yeah. But I never show anything while I'm here with Kane because mm. he is my world and he is everything. Mm. We talk about things that to anybody else makes no sense at all. But I do think that's the fascinating thing with dementia. Yeah. You just have to learn to just go off into that parallel universe. If you go back to the 60s, mixed marriages just didn't happen. And ours did and it's worked. In 97 I had cancer and Frank never left my side. You don't just walk out because somebody's ill. He's still my Frank, he's still my husband. I still love him and I will care for him up until whatever time anything happens to Frank, I will not leave him. One thing I've always felt, and I feel it very strongly having met all the residents today, is that everybody should have a label on them that says eye surgeon, civil engineer, doctor, teacher, because all these people have a, a life, a history, a backstory. I can really see now that this garden is going to be really a lung for everyone, all the residents, all the families visiting, all the staff, a really special place for everyone to escape to. To make you feel my love We've only got four days left before Jane gets to see the garden, so we've got to get cracking with a special rubber path. Made from old tyres, it's super non-slip, but it's a tough and dirty job. And even with our specialist team, it's going to take three days to lay. That's if the heavens don't open again. Without the pathway, the residents wouldn't even be able to use this garden, so it ties all of the little elements that we've been putting in and it structures it together and, and, and makes it usable. Wow! Look at that! Can I feel it? Oh, it's like I'm making flapjack. It's the exact consistency if you're making flapjacks. I think they look a bit like my flapjacks. It's, uh, it's sticky and porridgey, isn't it? At last, the plants have arrived, all 1,000 of them, and Joe's trusting me to keep them alive. I think this is just the job for Jane's girls. Who needs the boys anyway? You guess what we're going to do yet? No. Any ideas what we're going to do? Yeah. No. But, Nia, you see these flowers? How beautiful they are. These are all the flowers. They're just resting here. And then tomorrow we're going to start planting them. But there's a very important job that we need to do tonight. We need to put the boxes in there where they're going to be planted so they can just take my box and plant them. No. Does this, does this give you a clue? Yes! What? Yes! <laughs> How fun is that going to be? Okay, give it a nice sprinkle. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad you see it. No, no, too far that way. Just <laughs> that way. With the plants ready to go in, it really is a race to finish the path. I'm back from, well, not commentating on the cricket. I can't wait to see how they've been getting on without me. <laughs> well, I'm all excited. Aren't I am. Let's hope look at all the plants. Oh, yeah. Purples. Yeah, a little bit of lavender there. So you are turning into a garden. I am turning a into a garden. A natural reaction, an emotional response. Yes. To oh, look. They've done well. Look at this. This is amazing. What, what a transformation. Bandstand or yeah. pergola? Pergola park up area, that is. You can call it a bandstand. If you were, I'll tell you what, how you made out a bandstand. Yeah. You put a band in it. Oh, right. Lovely. And then it becomes a bandstand. What's going to be here, mate? This is going to be planting. All planting? Yeah, yeah, all planting. Oh, wow. All planting. What, big tall stuff? Yeah, or? shrubby stuff. Um, is it going to yeah. be like a herbaceous?